Hi everybody, uh, thank you for joining us today. Uh, my name is Jim Slagle. I'm the North America Sales Manager for Neocom. Everybody knows us as Turbinet. Our name's actually Neocom. Uh, Turbinet's our trademark product. Um, I want to introduce some people joining on this call from Turbinet. We have in the home office of St. Petersburg, Russia, we have Ivan and Eugene joining us. And uh, from the office here in Florida, my esteemed colleague Ostap is joining us. So at the end of this, we're going to have a time where we can ask, uh, answer any questions that come up. The presentation will take about 45 to 50 minutes, and then we'll have uh, time for questions that anybody has. Um, the, one of the main questions I've been getting today, this is the third time I've done this, is people say, can we have the PowerPoint you're doing? It'll be available on the website. Um, Motorola website, Keith Tracy's getting that put on, so you'll be able to you'll be able to get it. You'll also see at some point my contact information, so you'll be able to um, have my contact. You can call me directly or or email me. I'm located in, right outside of Charlotte, North Carolina, and so I'm very accessible. You can call me anytime. If you're on the West Coast and you want to call me at, at 10 o'clock at night, my time, that's okay. I don't mind. I answer the phone, so. I appreciate everybody's time. Hopefully this is going to be informative and educational and we'll all benefit from it. So a uh, little bit about Neocom. Uh, we started in 2007. Um, we do software as our main focus. We also have some hardware products I'll introduce to you. Um, we have Turbonet as the trademark for our products, which of course I even tell people I'm Jim Slagle with Turbonet because if I say T Jim Slagle with Neocom, people say who are Neocom, you know, who's Neocom. So. We partner with Motorola, so we do Motorola only. Um, our software works on all motor turbo systems, including the new Capacity Max. So we chose to Motorola because they're the best. We partnered with the best for the same reason. You, you guys have Motorola. Y'all are the best. So uh, we're all in the same boat. We've gotten many awards over the years. I won't go into every one, but, and we've gotten a lot more than the big ones I've highlighted here. But... The main one I do want to say is we, in 2016, we became Capacity Max Solution Provider for Motorola. So if you want our software and you have Capacity Max, you can get it. That's Very few people can make that claim to fame, so we're excited about that. Now, Turbinet, a lot of y'all already know us. We're a one-stop shop. Turbinet Plus is available through Motorola. I'll talk about that more in a, set, in a, in a minute, but what you can get still through us, we have the Turbinet Enterprise. Um, it's the same software, it just you have to use control stations for voice channels. But in some cases, it might be the best bet for you. So you can always contact me and I'll help you through that. We have the Turbinet Mobile Client, where you can turn your Android device into a soft radio. You can make private calls, group calls. You can see it on the GPS map. You can do anything you can do with a radio. And pretty soon it'll be available on iPhones, iPhones too. We're hoping by the end of this year. And we have a, a hardware device called the Swift Agent. It's a, a IP gateway. And I'll explain what all you can do with that, but that's a really neat device, and we have a couple models of that. Um, another good thing to know about is our DT500. It's a radio modem, and it turns any kind of raw data like SCADA or an RFID signal, anything like that, it turns it into a radio signal and can bring that into your console. So keep that in mind if you ever need something like, oh, we're, we're doing this inventory, we're scanning these boxes, it'd be nice if we could somehow bring that in and, into a, our dispatch console. Boom, you can do that. We have some option boards that are good for safety. Uh, for We have a crash detect, we have uh, man down, certain things like that come on the option board. So we have those devices. And we have a web interface that I'll talk about more in a few minutes. Um, and we have Turbinet Watch. Now Turbinet Watch is spectacular. It's a monitoring software. It's great for to monitor the health of your system. And any time you sell Turbinet Plus, you should be able to get a sell for Turbinet Watch because it's a really great monitoring software. It can tell you if you have a repeater go down, it can alert you. You can do RSSI mapping on most Moto Turbo systems, so you can see if you need to add a repeater. Um, you can run all kinds of reports. It's a great, great software to help you monitor, and we'll, you can download it off our internet and try it free for a week. So if you have somebody that bought Turbinet Plus, let them try Turbinet Watch for a week, 
and that's going to be another easy sale for you. And Turbinet Watch is not sold. That's sold by me. So uh, Turbinet Plus you'll get from Motorola, but Turbinet Watch, uh, if you need a quote or anything, just come to me. In fact, you can always come to me and say, here's the project. What do I need to do? I'll, I'll tell you if you should, you know, go to Motorola and, and get pricing and everything, because I'm not competing with Motorola in any way, shape, or form. I want you to purchase from Motorola. I want you all to purchase a lot of the of the Turbinet Plus. And I'll even help you do demos for the customers. I'll help you any way I can, and then you can walk away and purchase from Motorola. It's not hurting my feelings at all. So what's new and awesome with, with our software? Well, Turbinet Plus. Uh, I'm going to talk all about it in a minute, but that just recently came out for in North America. We have the new iBeacon support for the E-Series radios. I love this. I love these new E-Series radios. I think they're the greatest thing in the world. You should sell more E-Series radios than any other radios because if they buy those radios, they won't need a new radio for a long, long time. It'll be an investment, but it'll be a great investment. So you got you got to sell them on the solutions that these radios can have. Um, but And they have the new iBeacon support. So... Uh, we'll get into that with the indoor tracking. You'll love it. We have some new features with our phone interconnect that I'll talk about. And we have a Bluetooth test, text messenger that I think everybody's going to be excited about. And we have a new generation of Swift agents that I'll get into. So a lot of good things to uh, talk about today. And by the way, if anybody has any questions, uh, just write them down. And I promise you we'll, we'll get a chance to answer them at the end. Um, so Turbonet Plus. It was launched in April of 2014, so we've actually had it for years now, and we've sold systems all over the world. We just didn't have it in North America, uh, but now we do. But we have these systems have been sold and absolutely love, love the software. Those of you that have used our enterprise, it's the same software. It's just different connectivity, um, and it became to the market in May of 2016 at CPE. Um, Plus is based on Turbinet Enterprise, same software, just different connectivity. You can connect directly to the repeater for voice and data. With Turbinet Enterprise, you can only do data, and you need control stations for the voice. So with this being a wireline interface, no control stations are necessary. Um, and we support all Moto Turbo systems, including Cap Max. So you, no matter what you're getting in the future or what you have now, we got you covered. And we even do Turbinet Enterprise on a single repeater. So good stuff. We're sold in, the Turbinet Plus is sold and supported by Motorola. So you go to them for, to, to, to buy it, you go to them to get the first level of support. We might have to get involved at some point, but Motorola is your go-to people with that. But again, I'll help you all along the way if you need help. You don't have to go to Motorola to have a question and answer or whatever. So Terminet Plus is an integrated solution. Like I said, it's IP-based, so you have the direct connect to the repeater. It's got the AB, AMBE vocoder, and, and it's modular-based. So I'll go over what you get when you get a core package of Turbinet Plus and then what, what are the, the modular parts. But the good news is you don't have to get, like, this big, huge, expensive package. You can say, okay, right now I'm going to get... I'm going to get this, and then later on, I'm going to add GPS positioning, and then, you know, as the budget allows for my customer, you know, I'll add voice recording and telemetry and everything, so you can start little and go big, and, and uh, we, we will go there with you, and we're also scalable, so if you have a customer that starts off with one dispatch position and 10 user radio users, you can grow that to 100 dispatch positions with thousands of radios. So we're very scalable. So we can work for a small user or a large user and grow along the way. You just add to your license like Lego blocks. As you need more, you add more. You need more subscribers, you add them. Very, very simple. Um, we also have the ability to bring an analog radio into your digital world. I'll get into that more in a minute, but that's a cool feature in case you're, uh, in case you're going switching from analog to digital and you, did, you need to do the migration slowly so people don't have to go out and spend bunches of money on digital radios all in one week. Um, you can migrate them slowly, so we, we'll help you with that. And, and, and our software is very intuitive. It has a configurable graphic user interface. So each dispatcher can set up their screen the way they want it. You know, that we want the end user to have a good experience. 
So if they have three screens or four screens, they can even spread out and have the whole screen, just one part of our, one of them can be a, the GPS positioning, and then another screen could be job ticketing, and another screen may be uh, the, the, the uh, indoor positioning. So you can have different screens, or like me, I, I, I have mine on my demo. So when I do a demo, everything's on one screen on my computer because I have my demo on my laptop. But I have things configured the way I like it, the way it's comfortable for me, and I can change it if I need to. And I can tab around and get to everything you can get to, but it's, it's very user friendly. So very intuitive. We also have remote administration. This gives us a huge advantage over our competition because you can have the software at the server and then let's say your your technician's on vacation or your technician is at home sick and you need to add some radios. Well, the, you don't have to go to the server where the software is and, and you know, log on and add radios. The, the administrator can do it from his home. He can just log in and, and add radios, whatever he needs to do, boom, bam, boom. He can be on vacation in Hawaii and, and makes it happen. We also have third-party software integration. So... We have, I'm sure everybody's familiar, if you deal with hotels at all, you're familiar with Hot Sauce. It's a job ticketing uh, software that hotels use frequently. We can integrate with Hot Sauce. Now, I would I'd be remiss if I didn't say, if you catch the hotel before they buy Hot Sauce, we have job ticketing. And we have indoor location, too. So Hot Sauce doesn't have anything to do with indoor location. So you can give them a better bang for the buck because Hot Sauce is a really expensive software. Um, and, and most hotels you go to, when you go to a, a large hotel, they have this as their job ticketing software. But if you can catch them and you want to save them some money, you can, do, you can use our job ticketing. And I'm going to talk more about that in a few minutes. Um, and with the indoor tracking and the job ticketing, that's a, that's a lethal combination. So we also have better uh, redundancy for uh, if you want to have backup, we have better support for redundancy. So if you, if you have like a backup server, your license can include your, your backup server license. It can have your, your backup repeaters listed on there. So that's another key feature with our software. If you have a repeater go down, you can just switch it out. You know, a lot of softwares out there you have to call and get, get, you know, I need this done and that done. Ours, you can have it all done right there, all your backups, and just switch it out, and nothing happens. It's seamless. So, so what do you get with a tur when you buy Turbonet Plus? What do you get in their core? Well, if you see along the left side of the page here, um, you get voice dispatching. Um, you get fleet management. Fleet management by that you can you can see the status of the radios. You can on off. You can uh, you can kill the radio if you want to stun it, kill it. Um, you can turn it. You can take it offline, put it online, whatever you want to do. You can do that with the fleet management. Event logging. Uh, event logging is just anything that happens on our system. Everything that happens with Turbinet is recorded. So if somebody pushes the emergency button or if there's a crash detect or anything like that, any event or a text message, that's considered an event. A job ticket, that's an event. It's all logged. So you get that event logging um, as part of your core. We also have the standard kind of alarms and, and lone worker. By standard kind of alarms, I just mean if you push an orange button on your radio, it, it creates an alarm. Well, that'll go to the dispatcher. You, uh, if you have a crash detect, these are very standard alarms. If you have a, a geofence violation, these are all going to trigger an alarm and go to the dispatcher. So that's standard in the lone worker, of course. Text messaging and email is also part of your core package. And text message is self-explanatory, but people say, well, how do you email on a, on a radio? Well, what we have is we have a way for you to email a message to a certain email address that you set up, and it'll send that message as a text message to the radio. So that's kind of cool, and it's part of your core package, and the job ticketing. I'm going to talk more about job ticketing in a little bit, but it's, it's a great feature. Um, and then you have telemetry. Telemetry is, you know, one thing I like to talk about with telemetry is, let's say somebody locked their keys in the truck, you know, and they're out in the country in the middle of nowhere, how much would it cost you? For, first off, their downtime because they're sitting there, they lock their keys in the truck. Then you have to pay to have somebody go out and unlock their truck, maybe a locksmith or whatever, you're paying for that. So what's all that cost you? Wouldn't it be nice if the dispatcher could just do like OnStar and boom, unlock the truck, 
Well, you can do that with telemetry, so that's a good thing, because this is all about selling. You're, you know, you're not selling radios, you're not you're not selling software. You're selling solutions. You're saying, hey, I can make your life easy. I can make your life more productive. I can make your company save money. If you go in and you say this is a radio, do you want to buy it? You're never going to sell anything, and you're you're not going to have a job very long. But if you walk in and say I have a solution I can sell you. I can help you solve problems. I, this is going to help you save money. Bam, that's going to be a lot more powerful. Um, and, and what's great is a lot of things, like if somebody says, oh, I'd love to have indoor tracking, then that will help you sell them better radios. Say, no problem. I'm going to sell you these E-Series radios. You can do the indoor. So not only does it, is it benefit you to sell our software because you get that sell you know, for the software, bam, you're selling better radios. You're adding radios to the system because all of a sudden they have indoor locations, so they want their whole maintenance staff to be on these radios that they can track going around the hospital or the casino or whatever. So um, it, it can help you grow as, as that. So then on the right side, you have your optional modules. You can get the location tracking. This is the GPS. When you're walking around outside, you're catching the, the satellites, and you can see them on the map. So that's an optional uh, item you could buy, which I would highly recommend, because with the dispatch software, you, you really should have where they are on the map so you can locate them, and it's easier to dispatch to them. You can do voice recordings. So if you want to record, you're already recording all the events. If you also want to record all the calls that are made, you can record all the calls that are made um, to the point of it will record the dispatcher making a call. If a dispatcher talks to another dispatcher, that's going to be recorded. If two people make a private call on the radio, that will be recorded. So everything's recorded. So really cool. We also can do system bridging. So if you have, let's say you have a big college and they have a link capacity plus system and a capacity plus system, and you want to bridge them together, boom, you can do that. You can just use our software, bridge them together, and that's an optional, mod an optional module uh, from Motorola. We also have the RFID, RF coverage map, I'm sorry, RF coverage mapping. So you can actually look on the map and say, okay, I have really strong areas here, real good signals and everything, but over here it's a little weaker. Maybe I need to add a repeater. So the RF coverage mapping is, is, a, is a great feature. We also have phone interconnect, and I'm going to talk about it in more detail in a minute, so I'll, I'll kind of breeze over it now, but the phone interconnect allows you to bring your PBX SIP 2.0 compatible phone system into your digital world and, with the radios. And we have web data client. And what web data client is, um, we, allow, we have a website that you can go to. You log on from any computer. It works on all kinds of operating systems, all modern browsers. You can log on on an Apple computer, on your smartphone, on a Microsoft, anything. You log in and you can see what's going on in your system. You have a map there and you can see where your radios are. You can see if the radios are on or off. You can send messages. You can type a, a text to a radio. Um, and this is good for maybe somebody that's on vacation and they want to keep up with what's going on so they can log in from a beach in Malibu and see all their guys are around Denny's restaurants so he knows they're at Denny's eating breakfast when they should be out working. So he sends them a text message. Hey guys, get to work. I know you're in Denny's eating breakfast. They freak out, but it's a good thing. Or if somebody just is in the office and they want to kind of keep up with what's going on, but they don't want to, it's not a dispatch position. You can't talk, but you can see what's going on. That's good for somebody in the office just kind of monitoring that just, just, just uh, on a, you know, a, a low level basis. And then of course the new indoor positioning, which I'm a huge fan of, and we'll get into that more in a little bit. And then we have the advanced uh, enhanced alarm management. So, I'll talk more about that, but we have, you know, your standard alarms are covered. If you push the orange button, that's all covered. But with the enhanced alarm management, if you want something to happen, if you want an event or an alarm to trigger another reaction, you'll get enhanced alarm management. And I'll talk more about that in a few minutes. So how do you purchase TurboNet Plus? Well, you purchase through Motorola. You go to your Motorola cam. I can help you on the first part. Feel free to reach out to me and say, what do I do here? I'll lead you in the right direction because, believe me, I'm not competing with Motorola. I want you to purchase Turbonet Plus. So I'm, I'm not afraid to say, here's what you, get, here's what you need. Go to, go to Motorola and get it. With the core package, you get one server license, one dispatch position, and 10 subscriber unit radio license. Um, each radio needs to be licensed for our software to recognize it. So you, 
you, you buy a license for every radio. And then you get your connectivity module. So if you have a, you have a Connect Plus system, you get the Connect Plus module. Um, and then if you want to purchase additional subscriber units and additional dispatch position, you get however many you need. I have 300 radios and I need 10 dispatch positions. You buy those. And then you get your optional modules, your phone interconnect, your web access, et cetera, et cetera. And again, what's cool is you can, you can purchase some of these now. Like you can say, okay, I want phone interconnect, but it's not in the budget yet. Next year, we're going to get phone interconnect. Turbinet provides the software, and so you get the license from us and a few of the ancillary, like the, if you need a Swift agent, you'd get that through us. But the dealer is going to provide the server, the headsets, the microphones, the foot pedals, all the ancillary items, that's, that's up to the dealer to get. Now, sometimes I've been asked to do a turnkey solution. I'm happy to do it. I will charge you a lot to do it, though, because it's, it's kind of outside of, of what I typically do. So if, if, if we're going to do it, I'll be happy to do it. We'll just charge you more than it would cost you if you did it yourself. Um, and that's not to be mean. It's just because we want to have a turnkey solution, but we, we have to justify being able to do it. So we can give a turnkey, turnkey solution, though. So a lot of times people are asking me, I want to migrate from... Turbinet Enterprise to Turbinet Plus. No problem. The, mi the migration works if you bought your license before June of 2016. You can still do it after June of 2016, but because Turbinet Plus was available then, it would be a lot more expensive to do it. So if, if, you're, if you purchase before June of 2016, very easy to, to migrate to Plus. So what you do is you make sure you have the latest version of the software. You get that from me. Um, send me a copy of your license. I'll even tell you what version you have and if you need to upgrade. And if you need to upgrade, how much it costs you. And then once you get the latest version, you buy the connectivity module you need from Motorola. So if it's Capacity Plus, boom, you buy that connectivity module. And then you buy, you'll have to buy the infrastructure license. You, you need the NAI voice and data for Capacity Plus or Link Capacity Plus. You need TalkPass if you have a Connect Plus system for the XRT. And you do need an XRT. And for the... the uh, New Capacity Max, you buy the voice and radio commands for, from and talk pass for your Capacity Max system. And you, so very, very easy to, to migrate. So let's get into my favorite, one of my favorite new things, the iBeacons and the Bluetooth for indoor positioning. We, we've done indoor positioning for years, but it's, it's been somewhat archaic. Um, we can still do it today, but... When you see this, it's just so much easier and, and cost effective now. Um, there's the iBeacon technology out there now. These iBeacons, um, it's, it was technology developed by Apple. It's an open technology, so a lot of other people have gotten in there and made iBeacons, and anybody can, but um, it was developed by Apple. So it uses the Bluetooth 4.0 low energy, so you don't have the battery waste that you associate with Bluetooth. You know, now Bluetooth can be a low energy, and the batteries last a lot longer. Um, there's a lot of different vendors, designs, size, price, colors, a lot of different things to choose from. Uh, but I will say that Motorola and TurboNet has tested and recommend Estimote proximity beacons. Um, you can buy any of them, but we've tested and and we recommend Estimote proximity beacons. It's www.estimote.com. So, and you want the proximity beacons. The average range of these is about 70 meters or 230 feet, um, and average battery life is two years. By making some adjustments, you can make it go up to three years. And if you have, you know, it all it affects on how 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 often it's sending out a ping. If you do a ping once every uh, every five seconds, you might get you know three years. If you do it three times a second, like the max is three times a second, then you might get one year. So, but the average is two years, and they're very cost effective. These these beacons can cost you as little as five dollars, and up to fifty dollars. So you can see how that's a really cost effective solution. And if if any of y'all got our location, indoor location uh, things in the past, you know that's quite a difference in cost. So really, really a great feature. And what's it used with? The, the iBeacons are used with the new E-Series radios. These new E-Series radios are just incredible. I tell you, 
heads and tails above anything else on the market right now. Kenwood, ICOM, none of them have anything that can touch the E-Series radio. So that's a huge advantage for people that are in the Motorola family, best radios available. So the indoor positioning is part of the location protocol too, so it's the exact same thing as the outdoor positioning. It's When you're outdoor, it's just getting the signal from the GPS and and sending that to our sending that data packet to our software, uh, to our console, does the same thing with the indoor uh, location, so the, the eye beacons. Um, the time triggers, you can get 30 second updates, that's your max with the indoor positioning, if your radio system allows it. Um, but we do support enhanced GPS um, for indoor and outdoor. So just to show you a quick drawing so you kind of understand how it works, it's, it's the same as catching the satellite, like I said. So it picks up either, the, the radio doesn't know what the signal is. It knows it has a location signal, and it sends that raw data to the, through the repeater to our software. Our software knows if it's indoors or if it's outdoors. Our software knows where it's located and everything. So um, it just sends the data packet. It's the same thing as, as the GPS, so no different. And boom, goes right to the console. So indoor positioning, this is what your indoor positioning map's going to look like. I'm not too crazy about this map because it's hard to see. It's blue on blue. But if you can see these, these round things here, these little blue round things, these are where your beacons are located. So you actually go out and physically put beacons wherever you want them. And then you download a map. Very easy to download a map or a picture or you, you can... Anything you want to download, you do it, and then you just you say, okay, I put a beacon here, and you know you you put the code of that beacon, and so that way it knows when the radio's near that beacon where it's at, and you put all your beacons there, and then you go up here. I won't be able to do it because this is a picture, of course, but you can take the beacons off the page, and all you see is the radios. So you'll just see the radios as they pop around the 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 mall, the hospital, the casino, whatever. Um, with this indoor tracking. I would I would not pass a hospital, I would not pass a hotel, I would not pass a casino. Um, there's so many things this indoor tracking would be very attractive to. And uh, so there's a lot, of, a lot of business that maybe you never thought about going into that you're like, wow, this is great, I can see you. And also be creative, guys. Most, most ideas have come from people that said, hey, I, I know a way we can use this uh, this technology and we're like, wow, we never thought of that. It's a great idea. And and, and then we start telling people about it. So um, we have, we would have tabs here. If you had a, like a city map of the outdoor, you could have that on a tab. You could also have maps of different, if you had like five screens, you could have like the first floor, the second floor, the third floor, um, the outdoor map. You know, you can configure it any way you want. Or you can just tab back and forth if it's on one screen. You can have different tabs for different floors and the outdoor map. And it'll be seamless. You'll see the radio outside, and as it gets close to the building, boom, it'll switch, and you'll see it on the inside. So it's a, a seamless transition. You don't have to do anything. Uh, it just happens. So the alarm management. Um, this is what I was talking about. This isn't the just pushing the orange button and or the geofence violation. That's that's common. With alarm management, you want something to happen with you want an action or a a uh, an event or an alarm to create something else. You want something else to happen in response to that event or alarm. So the example I like to give is you have a control panel here. So let's say this is a fire control panel. So you want, if that fire control panel goes off because there's a fire, you want everybody that has a radio in that plant to get a text message or you want them to get a voice message, get out, evacuate, or you want them to get both. You can send a text message and a, and a uh, audio. So, or you want, the, you want an email to go to the boss that, hey, we had a fire alarm last night, you know, just so you know. Whatever you want, you can do it. Any of these events can trigger an action. So um, it can even make a pre-recorded phone call to 911. So it's a really great feature. And actually, we, we utilized it in a casino with our casino, and we have job ticketing. Job ticketing is what what you use if you want to create a job ticket you say okay I need somebody to go to the poker room so you create a job ticket and you say go to the poker room and you can send that job ticket to 
one individual or a group of people. So um, if you send it to one person, then they have the option of they can reject it if they don't have time to do it or they can accept it. And then you can put time limits on the job tickets. So you can say, okay, this has to be done in 15 minutes. So from the time they accept that job ticket, the clock's ticking. And if it's not completed in the 15 minutes, boom, they get, they get a, uh, an alert, the job ticket's late. But that's what we did with the alarm management. We, create, we did the job tickets and mixed it in with the casino management system. So when somebody won a jackpot, it automatically, nobody had to push any buttons, it automatically created a job ticket. That job ticket went to security and to maybe the pit boss. And so, because when somebody wins a jackpot, somebody from security always shows up and somebody always has to come check the machine and make sure there's nothing, no funny business happened. Um, so these things happen on an automatic basis because of the alarm management. So you can combine these features. You can combine the alarm management and the job ticketing. Um, so it's really cool. And I'll, I want to talk a little bit more about job ticketing. But first, I want to show you something else about the alarm management. So with these serial to Ethernet converters, you can also, you don't have to be real close to the system. You can be in... In, in the home office in one county and the buildings in another county or quite frankly it could be in one country and the buildings in Beijing China um, but you can get an alert that an alarm went off or again any event or alarm can trigger something else to happen and it doesn't have to be close by so you can do it from building to building state to state country to country it's because it all goes through the IP at that point so let me get into job ticketing a little more, though, because I want to show you how this can, you know, companies are always worried about getting sued. Everybody sues everybody, especially in the U.S. I'm not as sure in Canada, if it, I don't think it's as prevalent here in the U.S., but people are always suing everybody. So with job ticketing, this is a way you can measure job performance. You can say, okay, I have maintenance. I, I send them 100 job tickets a week. And of those 100 job tickets, I have five people that accept job tickets. They're never late. I have 10 people that accept job tickets pretty often, and they're late sometimes, but overall, I, at least they're trying. But I have five people that never accept job tickets. Or I have one person that accepts them, but he's always late or she's always late. Well, that can be used by HR. HR, you can run a report and say, okay, I want to see all the job tickets for Joe Blow over the last two weeks. Joe Blow's gotten 50 job tickets. He's, he's done 45 of them late, and five of them he did on time. So that can be used by HR to say, hey, Joe, we got to let you go. You're not, you're not up to par. And that's ammunition in case he says, well, I'm going to sue you. you. You have it right there in black and white that he's doing a terrible job. And in the same respect, you can run a report and just say, okay, who does, who's doing a great job? I need to promote somebody. And, and who's accepting job tickets, but they're late, but at least they're trying. We need to retrain those. So again, it's about you going to the the, the, the delivery, the, the owner of a company and saying, I want to make you more productive and I want to protect you from lawsuits. How much does this software cost compared to one lawsuit? You know, uh, it can, it can uh, save the day. So talk a little bit about the radio IP gateway. Um, this is a great feature. Those of you that don't know our Swift agent, um, if you have a Moto Turbo system, let's say down here you have a, uh, a Link Capacity Plus system. And this is a college campus. And so you put this in, and one of, one of the divisions, they, they're out on the west side of the campus, and they have a single repeater out there, and it's analog. And they, they didn't have it in the budget for maintenance to be able to buy new radios, so they can't get on your, on your, uh, your, your new fancy uh, system. Well, guess what? You can bring them in with, with a... Uh, use a donor radio and our Swift agent, and you can bring in that analog channel into the digital world. So not only would the dispatcher be able to communicate with them, you have an ability to cross patch in our software so you can tie those two lines together and people in maintenance can talk to people in uh, security, let's say. Um, so they're talking together. So this is great if you're migrating from analog to digital and you need to do it a little slower, you can say, you know something, I know you don't have it in your budget to buy 100 new $5,000 digital radios in one week. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the software, and we're going to migrate you slowly, and we're going to put you on a schedule to buy uh, 10 radios uh, a week, uh, a month, I mean, until you have all your trucks in digital radios. And until then, they're able to, to 
talk to each other from the analog to the digital. And another great thing, we, we still, I still hear all the time a lot of the people that have been using analog radios forever, they're fighting switching to digital. So with this, they're able to hear how clear and crisp the digital radios are, and it makes it a little easier when it's their time to get the new radio. They won't fight you as much because they realize how much better the digital radio is. So we have two models of the, the, the Swift agents. We have the A001 and the A002. Um, it can also act as a remote radio network uh, connection. So what's that mean? Let's say you have a, a nice motor turbo system. Everything's perfect. But you have one. You have one repeater on this on this system, and it's out in the country, and you don't have an IP connection. Well, you can actually use our Swift agent to connect to the uh, and bring that rate that that repeater into the console without an IP connection. So very, very powerful. And again, as I said, you can bring an analog um, or a digital motor turbo system into there. You can bring a P25 radio. It would just be that one channel, but you could bring that P25 into your into your uh, console. So that's that's cool. And again, you could cross patch. So and you can interface with other platforms too. Um, we'll have to address on an as needed basis, but it's really, really a, a, a really neat device. Um, no sound cards required, and it can also in extend your RF coverage. If you have an area of town that you send a person to maybe once a month, they're not out there that much, but when they're out there, they have no radio coverage. So you really don't want to spend the money to put a repeater out, out in the middle of nowhere. Well, you can use this. It's kind of a fake repeater. You put a control station, you put our box, it can extend your coverage much, much uh, better than having to buy a repeater for one person that goes out once a month in this area. So and you purchase the Swift agent through us. It's not sold by Motorola yet. It might be, it might be one day, but for now you purchase through us. And we have a new, very exciting, a new generation for, for the smaller desktop version. We have the A200. It's the replacement for the A002, um, so, but it, it's got a new form. And it's wireless or wireline. Typically, our, our Swift agent communicated with your donor radio through a uh, low frequency, a low, low frequency uh, Wi-Fi. And it was very simple. And we had one of our customers say, you know, I'm worried that somebody could kind of go in there and steal, you know, listen to our call somehow. So we, we developed, with our new one, we developed a wireline. So you can use a USB cable to the donor radio and accomplish the same thing. And then you have a little display here. If you can see my cursor, it'll display the status, the IP address. You know, you can see all the things there and tab through things. And you have a, a memory card on it that you can make. Uh, you can adjust so if you need more memory in it you can actually put a different memory card um, in that that'll be available in November in North America that'll be available in November of 2016 really really great device so let's talk about telephony and phone interconnect so we have as a purchasable module for TurboNet Plus you have the telephony and or, or phone interconnect what this means is you can bring a PBX SIP 2.0 compatible uh, phone system into the console. Now that, that's a requirement. If it's not, it, it's, if it's a modern phone system, it, it's PBX SIP 2.0 compatible. But just so you know, that's the requirement. But you can bring that into your console. So what's that mean? That means the dispatcher can answer a call. The dispatcher can put a call on hold. They can transfer that call to a radio or a radio group. So if somebody calls in, and this this is really, I think, very important because if if you're on a college campus, let's say somebody calls in and says, "Hey, there's a there's a naked guy in the library." Well, they can transfer that call to security, and then security can talk to the person because if if they got a call, a naked guy in the library, they don't know if it's a college kid playing a, playing a prank or he's drunk and having fun and and poses no danger, or they don't know if it's somebody on PCP that might be about to go crazy and hurt people. So it'd be nice if they could communicate with security, and and say well, they'll say is you know the response time might be a different response time and if it's just some drunk kid they might say okay we'll send somebody over there no problem and if it's somebody that's going around acting really crazy then they're going to send a whole bunch of people so it's nice that that, that person can be transferred to a whole radio team everybody in security can hear the person on the phone um, there's no option board required no digital phone patch license required and it supports all call types 
So the only downside with it, it's not available on Connect Plus. Okay, we also have some new features to Phone Interconnect. So those of you that have Phone Interconnect, new features, really cool. Get the latest version because the new features are great. You can actually have conditional call forwarding. So what's conditional call forwarding? Okay, let's say you're working at a hotel and you're the only one there because it's 2 o'clock in the morning. You're behind the front desk and somebody calls up and says, I need a towel. I just got out of the shower and I'm out of clean towels. Well, you have to leave the front desk to bring them the towel. Or if something, you know, it can be anything. You go out to take a smoke break. You have to leave the front desk. So what if somebody calls in? Well, rather than miss the call, you can have it to where it like rings three times, let's say, and then if nobody answers in three times, it forwards it to the radio. So as you're walking along the hotel, you can get the phone call. You're not going to miss the call. Now, that's a very cool feature, and that could apply to a lot of different places. Um, you can also do conference calling, and this is important like with 911, I think. If you had a 911 operator, they're going to take a call from somebody, call them from the outside, and then they're going to get a police, a policeman or maybe, you know, several policemen. I don't know how it works as far as how many are on that frequency, but you can do it to just one or several, but you can conference everybody in. So the dispatcher can stay on the line because they have to ask certain questions of the person that, that's calling into 911, but yet they can also be talking to the officer responding uh, at the same time. So that conferencing ability is, is a great new feature. So we also have remote alarm activation paging. Uh, so it's kind of fancy. It's very simple paging. Remember the pagers back in the day we carried on our hips? Some people still want that ability just to send a page. So you can actually call in on your phone and you can send a, a voice message to a phone. You can send a text message, I mean to a radio, uh, a, a voice message to a radio, or you can send commands. So you can send anything uh, from a phone to the radio. So it's paging just like the old days, but even better. And it's kind of a archaic technology, but people still like it, people still want it, people still use it. We also have this new thing with using an Android device. It's only Android because of their uh, the protocol. It has to be Android. But you can use an Android tablet or an Android smartphone, and it can sync up via Bluetooth to your portable or mobile radio. And you can get messages. So if you have a cab driver, he's never been able to text message back and forth with the dispatcher. But now they can. They can text me. They can receive text. They can, they can send text. They can do job tickets. So any of that can be done right through the Android device. So that's a cool new feature we have. And it works even though you have a keypad with a lot of the, the mobile radios. Um, it's kind of hard to send a message, uh, especially, you know, think of a 300-pound a truck driver. He's got big fingers. He can't be fooling around with these little keypads. Now he can just pop up a keyboard on his tablet and send a message just like that. And it's easier to read a big message if you're on the road, you know, if, that, if you have that mounted on your dash. It would be a lot easier to read, a lot safer than reading that little tiny screen on your, on your radio, especially if you're blind like I am. We also have new mic connectors. This is great. We love this. Um, people are all the time asking us, what kind of mics do you recommend? What, you know, and, and really, you know, you can use a lot of different kinds, but now you can use the Motorola microphone. So, Use what you have in the storeroom. Y'all have these microphones all over your storeroom. Why go out and buy a buddy mic when you can use a Motorola mic? So you can connect a buddy mic. We have the <coughs> excuse me. We have the Turbinet mic adapter. It has a sound card in it. You just hook up your your any kind of of microphone, Motorola microphone, and boom, it'll bring it in via USB cable with no static, no noise, smooth as a button beautiful. So that's a new thing we have and we, we're very excited about that. I also want to talk to you a little bit about uh, the, our Turbinet Storm Forward. Now this is a great feature. It, it, it's something you do off your generic option board and you can get more frequent updates. So typically if you ran a report and said, okay, I, you can run a report with our software and say, okay, I want to know where Joe went today and it'll be boom, here's where Joe went today. But it'll be like this. If Let's say you poll every two minutes um, because you're, you're you have a very busy system. You can't pull every 30 seconds or whatever, so you pull every two minutes. Well, this is what it's going to look like. You know, Joe went there, there, and then he went there. Well, well, Joe didn't drive across that field. Joe went around it and everything, but you really don't know how he went. So if you want to know where exactly where Joe went, you can get this feature, and it's it, you get up to five-second updates, five-second. So um, you know exactly where 
Joe went throughout the day. Now, what's really cool is too, it's smart, it's, it's breadcrumbs it's dropping, but they're smart breadcrumbs. If you're going on a long straightaway, it's not gonna drop as many breadcrumbs. But our, our option board recognizes every 15 degree change in angle and starts dropping more breadcrumbs. So if you're going around the curve, you can see here how as you're going around the curve, it drops more breadcrumbs, less as you're on a straightaway. But it's a very, very smart option board we have. So, and what's great is it works even if you go out of radio range. So it stores up to 500,000 events. So with five second updates, you could go out of, out of radio range for a week. And when you come back in, it's going to compress those signals and dump them back into the system. So it saves your, your channel loading. And, uh, and it'll save them even if they go out of radio range. So the guy that has his company truck and he, he drives it home on the weekend and the boss, that, and remember, you're not dealing with the guy that rides the truck who doesn't like this feature. You're dealing with the boss who loves this feature because you can say, okay, they're driving their company truck home on the weekends. They're out of radio range, so I don't know where they go. But the boss is suspicious that they're driving around and running errands with their company truck when they're supposed to stay parked in their driveway. Disable the on-off button, and when he when he or she drives that company truck home, they come back in. You know exactly where they went, and you can run a report and say, "Hey, uh, it looks like you went to to uh, Tennessee this weekend." May I ask you why? And then they're like, uh, "Well, I'm busted." So it's just a way of, of controlling your assets and everything. And the people, like I said, that you're talking to that write the checks, they love this feature. Again, people driving the truck might not like it, but that's not who you're dealing with. So here's all my contact information. I'll take questions in just a second, but I'm going to have my contact up, uh, information up here. There's my email address, my, my cell phone number. I, I'm very accessible. I, I take calls. Uh, if I miss your call, I'll call you back. But I'm, I'm right outside of Charlotte, North Carolina. So, but even if you're on the West Coast, if you want to call me at 7 o'clock, don't worry about what time it is for me. Call me. If, if I'm free, I'll answer the phone. If I'm not, I'll call you back. But I answer my phone all the time. So feel free to call me or email me. If you need support, if you buy Turbinet Plus, support is done through Motorola. But support for us, you can email, even if you have a question that you know is really, really technical that I'm not going to know because I'm not technical, you could email our support email and, and get the question. You also see our website. Um, I'm happy also, I want y'all to know if y'all want to, if y'all want to sample our, our software, uh, I'll help you get a demo version of Turbinet Plus. I can also give you a demo version that's permanent so you can have it in your shop. It'll be a very small version, but you can have it in your shop and show your customers. So if you want that, get in touch with me and I'll be happy to help you set that up. We also have a knowledge base which will answer any questions if you have our software um, or you just want to get to know, like, I wonder how I set up a geofence in, uh, in, in TurboNet. You could go to our knowledge base and you could find that out. Um, very, very simple instructions, step one, step two, pictures and everything. Um, it's a great, great knowledge base. So uh, now I'll, uh, I'll entertain any questions. Uh, again, I'm not technical, but I have some very smart people on the phone with me, on this call with me. So uh, if you have anything technical, I'll get them involved. But other calls, I'll try to uh, answer as much as possible. So if you have a question, please, um, you can do one of two things. You can raise your hand and I'll unmute you, or you can uh, send me a message. So however you want to do it, go ahead and I'll answer any questions. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Aloha. Somebody from Hawaii is joining us. Um, da, da, da. All right. Thank you. I'm getting some nice comments. Any questions, though? Any questions? Okay. All right. Well, thank you again. Thank you for the. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see here. Um, also, I'm going to cut and paste something here. Uh, right here. Okay. I'm going to cut and paste this for everybody to see. This is our copy and paste, I should say. This is from Keith Tracy. 
So hopefully everybody can see that. So you can get the 60-day demo of Turbinet Plus from uh, that website as well. And okay, guys, I really appreciate y'all's time. Um, if I don't have any more questions, okay, okay, thank you again. Thank you again for the nice comments. Uh, I, I know y'all can't read what people are saying, so but uh, there's okay. Thank you, thank you very much. Okay, I'll I'll go now. I don't see any questions, but you have all my contact information. I love you too. Um, thank you, everybody. Feel free to reach out and call me if you have any questions. And uh, thank you, OSTAP. Thank you, Eugene. Thank you, Ivan. I appreciate y'all's time. Hope everybody has a great day. And I'm here for you, so call me if I can help you with anything. Take care, everybody. Thank you, Keith Tracy. Bye-bye.